hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel lady m beauty today i am super excited because it's one of my favorite times it is the sephora fall savings event i just got my uh, flyer in the mail. So today I am going to be sharing with you what I am recommending and what's on my wish list. So I always love to share like, what am I going to be shopping for? And then what are some things that I think is worth the splurge? Definitely when you're going to be able to save. So today we're going to get into that in today's video. So if you're new here, my name is Melissa. I go by the name Lady M online. If you love all things luxury, beauty, and lifestyle, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. All right, let's go ahead and jump into my wish list and my recommendations. All right, so before we jump into the video today with the recommendations and what's on my wish list, let me go ahead and share some important dates for you for the Sephora savings event. So this year, the savings event will start on October 27th and it will end on November 6th. Now Rouge's of course will have first access. And so for Rouge, you're gonna be getting 20% off on this year's sale and your sale starts, your early access starts on October 27th. Now, if you are a VIB, your savings will be 15% and you'll be able to start shopping on October 31st. So Rouges, you get first access. So that's one of the perks of being a Rouge. So you're going to have about five to six days that you're able to shop before anybody else. Now, insiders, you're gonna be saving 10% off and you'll be able to start shopping on the 31st as well. All levels, no matter what um, level you are, the last day to shop is going to be November 6th. Um, as well, Sephora will be having 30% off their in-store in brand. Sephora collection will be 30% off for everyone. So that's the details about the savings event. Again, this is one of the my favorite things to do um, is to share with you, you know, what do I recommend? And I'm recommending maybe more recent things that has recently launched that I've been loving or just staples that I always repurchase and that I always go to all the time. All right. So let me just go ahead and go into, um, my recommendations. So if you've been watching any of my videos, then you already know that this has been my go-to primer. This is the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. So I definitely recommend that you guys give this a try. It's going to help control your oils. It's going to help give you some hydration with the peptides. And then it's also going to blur and smooth. So I have been loving this. This is what I probably have been using a lot. Probably every time I do my makeup, that has been what I am reaching for. Now, in conjunction with that, I definitely recommend this is the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. This is in the shade nine. I have nine and eight. Now, this is what I have been wearing the whole summer, probably majority of 2023 as my foundation. It is what I am wearing today as my foundation. And I just really, really love that. I enjoyed, I haven't tried the universal, so I don't know how that is, but I use either shade eight or nine, and that has been my staple. Um, it just does a really good job of long wearing my, it stays in place. I mean, I just love that product. So I definitely, um, will recommend that. Um, recently some concealers, like this was the year of concealers. And so I have been trying to go through like testing out <laughs> some of the concealers that I just recently picked up. Now I'm going to look right quick to see if the YSL, um, concealer is on Sephora because I am not sure that it had, oh, it is. So that has been like one of the, my newest concealers that I just recently picked up that I definitely recommend. It's like, man, full coverage. Like it's just amazing. So it's been 
a go-to for mine since I picked it up that goes in conjunction with the All Hours Foundation. So for concealer, I definitely recommend the All Hours Creaseless Precise Angles Concealer. I recently reviewed it. That video should be coming up shortly, but I have just loved that concealer. So I definitely recommend that. Um, some of my other favorite concealers, sealers are, I just love this Dior Backstage uh, Flash Perfector Concealer. This has been something that I have been using. I love, so I'm rotating between this concealer, my Dior Forever Concealer, which I highly recommend. And I have recently been loving the Makeup by Mario Sure Skin Surreal Concealer. Those have been what I have been having in my rotation. I just recently tried the House Labs Concealer. Now, outside of the shade being a little bit wonky for me, I think that's also a really good product. So I would say if you're in the market for a concealer or you've been waiting to try concealers, now is the perfect time because you're going to be able to save 10, 15 or 20% off. So those are the concealers that I hands down um, recommend. So once we go to our concealers, the setting powder, there's only one. Um, I have the one size, um, I don't even know what my box, what it's called, but anyway, this is what I have been using and I highly recommend that I have the shade translucent. I have sweet honey and I have ultra pink. Now these one size powders, chef's kiss, amazing blurs, smooth, non-drying under the eyes and there's like a ride a variety of shades so the pink has been what i have been reaching for a lot um, but i use that in um, conjunction with sweet honey so i either go between those two so that's what i recommend for setting powder is the one size setting powder now blush is dior came out with these amazing rosy glow blushes they extended the shades i did do a dedicated video on swatching them and using them so i will link that here for you you guys these blushes chef's kiss um so i love those blushes that probably has been what i have been using majority of the year since those came out and then prior to that i was you know um on my pat, pat mcgrath blushes so those are probably staple blushes that I always have, I always reach for, but the Dior has been a recent addition since these launched. And if you haven't tried them, I definitely recommend now is a good time to try. And again, I said the Pat McGrath blushes, those have been what I have also been loving. I use those all the time. That's what I reach for all the time. So those are your powder blushes. Now I do have some cream blushes that I have been testing out. I just picked up the Danessa Myricks uh, Blurring Balm Powder Flush Blush. So I have like two shades, Rose and Brunch and Dancing Queen. And let me tell you, the pigment on those blushes are like no other. So definitely need to have a light hand. Um, and I try to find like a powder version to just that I can use to just set the, set those cream blushes, but I have been really enjoying those blushes. And then, um, another recent blush that I have been reaching for, um, trying to find it for you is she's wanted. And that is the Patrick Ta blush duos. Now I love Patrick Ta. I love the formula, the pigmentation. Um, so that is another cream blush that I would recommend. Um, definitely worth the splurge. So if you're interested in trying out some cream blushes, then those are my options for you as far as, um, cream blushes go. Um, so mascara, honestly, for the whole year, I have maybe like two years now, I would probably say I have only been using the Rare Beauty Mascara. I love the wand. It has like a thicker wand 
and I just really love it. It doesn't clump. I can get like nice application. So, um, that is the mascara that I would recommend. I recently started using the YSL, um, mask. I don't know what it's called. Lash something mascara. And so far I am loving that. So I definitely need to put the rare beauty down so that I can try out other mascaras, but that has been the one that has been my ride or die for like the last year <laughs> is that rare beauty mascara. Um, lip liners, honestly, I usually stick to what I love. I don't never deviate, but recently I picked up, um, Anastasia's lip liner in the shade malt. And I have to say, I love it. Um, that has slowly become a favorite of mine, but I have a rotation. I have makeup by Mario. I think I have Jeff and Travis, and then I have limitless Brown and then, um, this new one by Anastasia and then also buxom that creamy chocolate. Those are like my staple brown lip liners that all chocolate girls need. Um, those have been what I have been reaching for, but malt is what I'm recommended because that is the latest addition to my collection. And I have been loving that. Um, so setting sprays, honestly, I just, started using the LYS setting spray and I love it. It's just this nice mist and it just really does a good job of melting my makeup in. And then I would go in after that with the one size, the until dawn, or I'll go in with, um, Charlotte Tilsbury. So those are kind of like my three setting sprays that have been my ride or die that got me through this scorching summertime. <laughs> But the LYS has been the latest addition, but my go-to has, has been the, um, one size and the Charlotte Tilbury together. Um, love that combo makeup stays in place, sweat proof, like yes, locks it in. Um, so definitely recommend that. Um, for lippies, listen, I have, I, if you watch my last haul videos, I did a haul video, you can see that I am obsessed with lip oils, lip butters, anything that has to do with lippies. Um, so I am going to recommend hands down. My favorite is the, um, summer Fridays. So summer Friday lip butter. I probably have every color that there is. Um, so I definitely recommend this. This stays in my purse. It never like comes out of my purse. Um, I absolutely love those. And the other one that I have that I highly recommend, I'm trying to get out is this K skin Isle lip balm with SPF 30. So a little bit of sun care, um, with your lip product, lip balm. Now this comes in, I think four shades, but the clear, if you don't want to use color, cause these are pretty pigmented. If you don't want to use color, there is a clear option. And I love the, love this as well. Um, so those have been like, everybody needs at least one of those. And then, um, my other lippy that I have been reaching for is these YSL. I'm not even sure what they're called. Let me see what's on the box. It's the Rouge Volupte Candy Glaze. And this one is in the shade, I think it's just zero two and it's clear. Um, yeah, it's clear. And you guys look at the packaging. Like, can we just like a moment for that right there? Ugh, so good. Um, but anyway, I have been using those and I absolutely love it. So this also stays in my bag and I go between the summer Friday and this YSL, um, lip product. And then the other lip product that is a must have, I'm trying to grab one here out of my little bag is the Dior lip oils. Now I have these in cherry mahogany clear. Like I have like also all colors pretty much that I love. Um, but I love these, these also stay in my bag 
And honestly, it's just a matter of which one it is that I reach for first, but I keep those <laughs> lip products in rotation. See how my summer Fridays is all beat up? Like I keep these on deck at all times. Um, so yeah, I definitely will recommend um, those lip products any day anytime like that is a um a must have um so what else do i have here i went over um lip lip masks lip oils um lip balms everything so the next thing i have is bronzers and honestly the only bronzer that i have been reaching for lately is my pat mcgrath bronzer i use the shade burnished honey I also use bronze mahogany sometimes, but I go back and forth between those two shades. And that has really been the only bronzer that I have been reaching for lately. Um, I did pick up the Kosas Big Bronzer in Paradise, and I really like that too. It is just really warm. Um, so for something a little bit more neutral, I just use my Pat McGrath bronzers. Um, so some finishing powders. This product just came out and it has already made it to my top recommended products. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Pressed Powder in Golden Brown. You guys, this is amazing. I probably, I'm not somebody that usually travels with makeup products in their bag. Like when I leave my house, I need my makeup to stay in place. Like the only thing that I really try to reapply is like my lips. But this could be something that I will keep in my bag and just reapply to touch up because it's that good. So I love that. Um, and then the other powder that I have been loving is the Kosas Cloud Set Bake Setting and Smoothing Powder. Love those. Um, I love that. Between Before I got the Bobbi Brown, that was the one that I was using. Um, and now I have two, so I have a nice little rotation going on. Um, so makeup removers, the one that I have been loving and I feel like it's amazing is the Fenty, uh, Fenty skin makeup melt off jelly oil cleanser. Love it's like, man, it really does a good job. I have been using a lot of oils lately instead of using the butters but that is definitely one of my favorite oils. Um, so definitely here for it. So definitely want to give that a try. Um, so into a little bit of body care, honestly, what I recommend Fenty body butter, I get the holiday, um, the holiday one, but just the original is a staple and I reach for that all the time. Love how my body feels nicely moisturized, hydrated, everything. Um, and then for body wash, I really just utilize me. I rotate between two. I use the necessary eucalyptus body wash and now they have it in a jumbo size. So that is amazing. I'm definitely going to be picking that up, um, repurchasing that. And then I also use the way body wash. So I use St. Bart's um, in the summer and now I am using Melrose Place. So that is must have love those body washes. And then Necessaire also has their body lotion and that now also comes with a pump. And I am excited because I'm not here for the squeezing, but give me a little pump action and I am here for it. So those are probably just some body care items that I definitely recommend. And then lastly, skincare, I just recommend, um, what is it? The belief, <laughs> uh, bomb aqua bomb sunscreen. This has been what I have been using for the whole summer. It's a duo. It's a moisturizer and sunscreen in one, and it has SPF 50. So this has been what has been saving me, um, through the summertime. Um, and uh, yeah, that is all of my recommendations. I don't really have any makeup like palettes or lippies or anything. I feel like those are just things that 
you like or you don't like and you're going to have your own staples but outside of that any products i would say the one face the one makeup palette that i would recommend is the danessa myrick's groundwork palette now i face palette i think that's a great investment because you could literally use that palette to do everything brows um uh, color correct bronze contour like eyes lips it's an all-in-one palette so that i definitely think is worth it it's travel you don't have to bring a whole bunch of stuff just that one palette so i definitely will um recommend that so now we're going to get into my wish list. And usually during the fall sale, I don't really do a lot of makeup. I usually just focus on the holiday collections, the holiday sets and skincare and body care. And that is li literally what my list is. It's literally nothing but body care. And I will start with the Fenty Skin Butter Drop refillable warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream that is on my list this is the um warm cinnamon i don't think i i ever purchased this one so i am excited to actually pick that one up because i have never tried that one and then one of the things that fenty came out with this year that i'm definitely feeling is the little butter drops mini whipped oil body cream trio um that is gonna be retailing for 59 dollars it says that it's a 69 dollar value but you're getting three minis you're getting the original you're getting um the vanilla and you're getting the one from last year in the burgundy color um so i think that is a really good deal so and it's three travel size so i am absolutely here for that then we have the fenty skin plush puddings intensive recovery lip mask duo so they also came out with the original and then now they have another shade that is for 34 dollars. so i am excited for that um next up for this is like all holiday collection guys so patrick ta came out with his little holiday collection I'm not sure how I feel about the palette. Um, I don't really think that I would get a lot of use out of the palette. The only thing that I really like in the palette is the blush. So I don't think that's worth me spending, um, you know, for that. So I don't know how I feel about that yet. But what I do want is the Patrick Ta Holiday Major Volume Plumping, Plump, Plumping Gloss. And it's just nice, like, um sheer fuchsia color so i am here for that um i definitely um will be getting that of course cali ray you guys know i love cali ray so they have a lip plumper gloss so it's the big swell hydrating lip pump plumper plumper gloss <laughs> and it's clear with some iridescent shimmer so i'm definitely um going to pick that up see what i'm saying i have a thing about lip products like what is my issue um but then fenty came out of course with the glossy posse volume 6.0 so we're going to be getting three full size um, yeah three full size gloss bomb trio um and one of these is a new shade so always fenty does that where she comes out with those new shades so that's some of the holiday collections i'm just here looking at my phone see what i got going on here tower 28 they have their lip drip cookie butter lip gloss set love that that nude color gloss is like so gorgeous you just need that and a lip liner and you're good to go um i don't know if anybody remembers when anastasia used to do highlighters well, they're back with their Glow Seeker highlighter. I am on the fence, but it's on my wish list. So we'll see. It's supposed to, it's called Sun Idol and it's a champagne gold. So we will see, we will see, we will see. Um, I always pick up the Pat McGrath um, holiday collection. Usually I pick it up on her website, but this year, I don't know. I didn't pick it up there. Um, so the palette is on Sephora's website. So it's the Mothership Bijou Brilliant Starstruck Splendor Full Face Palette. So another face palette. And the packaging, of course, is to die for. 
and it's $76. So I'm not sure. It's on my wish list, but we shall see. <laughs> And then I have the Hourglass Ambient Light Editing Unlocked, Unlocked Palette. And this one is the Snake. I didn't get last year's. So this year I was like, man, maybe I really should, you know, try to get this. So wish list doesn't mean I'm going to pick it up, but that is on my um, wish list. Another uh, Fenty product is the Gloss Bomb Crystal Holographic Lip Luminizer. Now, you know, every year, like we have all the Fenty lip, Fenty lip glosses, right? So the, the Gloss Bomb is the Holographic Iridescent Crystal Clear. I'm excited to try that. So we'll see. That is definitely, I am going to pick that up. And then Fenty has their Lip Oil Duo. So there's another color in here. So it's a duo. Um, it's called fruit quencher, hydrating and condition and lip oil duo. So that is definitely on my list. So the Gu Gucci had came out with concealers earlier in the year. I didn't pick them up. Maybe not so long ago, maybe two months ago, maybe three months ago. So I have that on my list, my wish list. So I'm not sure the reviews aren't all of that so i don't know it's 47 dollars, so we'll see but that is on my wish list um so milk makeup has their pore eclipse matte translucent talc free setting powder you know i have my ride or die but i'm always open to trying something so that is on my list to try so we shall see if i am able to try that and then, as I mentioned in my recommendations, the Necessaire Body Lotion, the full size, it's like a jumbo size, so that is a must have. Um, and then I do have like one or two skincare products that I want to try. So Summer Fridays has a new moisturizer. It's a rich cushion cream ultra plumping moisturizer. Always need a good moisturizer at nighttime. This is for $52. So I felt like it was a little pricey, so I would definitely pick that up with the 20% off. So that is on my list. Um, Wishful has this Glow Trio set. It has the cleanser, the exfoliator, and the moisturizer. So I also have that on my list. Now, if you've never heard or tried 54 Thrones, I definitely recommend. So I have the body cream, but now they have a moisturizing butter cream body wash non-stripping with shea butter ceramides and niacinamide so i'm definitely gonna pick that up it's a black owned brand so definitely excited to, to test that out now i don't know i'm on the fence about this but pattern by tracy ellis ross they have their blow dryer with four attachments so the 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 product retails for 189 dollars so i am curious to see you know how this performs on my natural curly hair you know sometimes the best products are made by people who have you know curly hair um so i do have my dyson love my dyson but sometimes you know you want to try something that's made for us by us so i'm definitely inclined to try that pattern uh blow dryer um gave by Gwen Stefani. She has this all eyes on me mascara and eyeliner set. I'm not sure if I want to pick this up because I already picked up the mascara. So I don't need to have two mascaras. So, um, but I want to try the eye eyeliners. I am looking for the perfect brown chocolate eyeliner. My staple was Marc Jacobs. Um, I actually tried the Rare Beauty and that one is pretty good. So it's given the Marc Jacobs a run for its money, but I'm always looking. So you never know. Um, next, this is the Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara Duo. So this is $39 and you're getting two full size mascaras. So definitely I think is worth it. Um, and then Dennis Gross Skincare. It's the Holiday Peel Vault. I always get this. This is for $153 and it's just all the, um, the exfoliator pads, the, the um, peel pads, um, and those are always a staple. 
Um, Summer Friday has a new lip shade in the lip butter. You already know that's my jam. So it's the lip butter balm for hydration and shine. And this is in the color or shade sweet mint. So I definitely want to, um, get that going and yeah, that's pretty much all on my wish list. Oh, the other thing that I was going to pick up is the Fenty beauty. Fenty Parfum Body Cream. Now, I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about the fragrance. I, I like it. I think it's layerable. It performs well for me. But I think layering it with the body cream may, you know, give it that longevity, that long lasting. So I am interested in picking up the body cream. Um, definitely, I will think that um, something that I want to try out. Also, what I have is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Best Selling Blurring Buddy Set. So this is a new uh, uh, blush shade. It's in that Pipto Bismol, that Barbie kind of pink. And then it comes with a deluxe size of the uh, Blurring Balm Powder, the Universal um, shade. So definitely excited to pick that up. And then if I could get my hands on this Summer Fridays, the Lip Butter Bomb Set, it retails for $49. It has two shades and one new shade in it. And I... Okay, so what happened? My camera stopped recording at this point in the video. And I did not realize until I was ready to edit. So I do apologize for the abrupt ending to the video so <laughs> i am just going to let you guys know the last few items that were on my list and that was the danessa myricks um light work number five palette that is the last thing that was on my wish list that i am probably going to pick up during the sales event so that's it guys for today's video thank you so much for watching um be sure to let me know in the comments what are you guys most excited to be picking up let me also know what are some of your recommendations that i might want to check out during the sales event and then also share what are some things that are on your wish list i would love to hear from you in the comments section down below again thank you so much for watching before we go if you aren't subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and do turn on your notification bells to be notified whenever i upload new videos thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye oh.